Hello everyone, Vasive here, and welcome back to the stream. I apologize, uh, kind of in a, a bit of a rush here. Um, just ordered food, just got here. I haven't had a chance to eat all day, so literally all that's in my body is like four handfuls of Cheez-Its and a medium fry. Um, and then I tried to pour some more food into me. <laughs> and I was like, well, I have some chili here. I'm just going to eat this real quick. And uh, they didn't send me a spoon. So, have you ever been so hungry where you try to just, you know, drink chili? I would not recommend it, especially since it's piping hot. And so, like, I burned all my tongue. Um, so, great day. Great, great start to the stream here. But uh, we're going to be playing some Divinity Original Sin 2. Let's get that started up. Uh, we left off in uh, Act 3. I almost blew you guys off. 3! Tres. Peace, minis. We're going to be playing some more of that. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on here because we have um, weird stuff happening. Wherever I go, bad stuff is happening. Like, we lost Sabeel, so we're like, undid that. Um, we left off in the cave of uh, how to get to the Hall of Echoes. Was that it? Something like that? Um, I think that's exactly where we left off. I think I, that's where I saved. I don't remember. Um, and then we found the middle area is full of magisters and black ring and fighting. And no matter what happens, I have to fight at least half of them. And the dude that's with me might turn on my ass. So that might be interesting. Um, there might be more stuff. I don't want to say west because it may not actually be west. But to the leftist, lefter side of the map that I was when I came in. The direction of the map that I was facing could be like east. Or whatever so it's not I don't know but so we're gonna find that out maybe there's something over there I don't know what to do with the temple of Amadia um what else maybe we finish that the uh there's oh yeah there's those one pillars that we kept turning on I don't know if we're supposed to turn them on or off so there's that whole conundrum going on and we got a Jada snuggle right here Here's a good dog oh yes oh, da, 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 da. Fortunately, you guys can't see her. Oh, Kizen, hi. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the lovings. Oh, look, they all want to talk to me. That's right. That's where we left off. These people want to talk to me. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, my phone is telling me that we're live. Yes, I know. Ow, you're stepping on me. The Academy. My Academy. This place was home once. Now I'm not sure what home even means. But I know one thing. I may be the last of my line, but the hope for my people lives on through me. I must try to save them. I must ascend. It is the only way to guarantee that my race will never be snuffed out. Ah, ah. Oh, this is where I actually have to choose. Maybe I shouldn't have saved here. Delphane, you understand these people are everything, but you must know that if you become divine, you will protect him no matter what. Mitt Fane is right, he should next find pledge you will support him. Oh man. This feels like super betray. Proving yourself many times already. You kept him safe so far. He knows he can trust you to do the right thing. Been through so much together. Don't let this divide you. If you support you, he will be your right hand. Tell him not to be a fool. Seeing what you do to your enemies. Argue that the power corrupt. The Eternals, you're sorry, but the world would be safer with you as divine. Okay, I need a little time to think about it. So, I haven't changed my mind. I kind of want to just let Losa do it because like see what I said happens. Before, I need to ascend. I don't stand a chance against this demon otherwise. Uh, no, by now she can trust you. You care for her more than anyone in the world. Take in your hands if she l lets you ascend. Let's you ascend. Care for her from the moment you met her forever ago on the ship. You didn't leave her then, and you aren't going to leave her now. I guess I trust you to ascend. Let's just think of all you've been through together. You've done the best by her when you could, even if you didn't always succeed. I tell you the role of divine should be observed with the strongest. Or she'll stand by your side after you ascend, and you'll make sure she's taken care of. Or she knows she can, can't be trusted with that much power. The demon would corrupt her. This isn't safe. 
So you understand you want to stand alongside her with her as a chosen to ascend. I need a moment to think. No, wait. We cannot face the trial of divinity yet. The master is on the oh, sick. He must die before we go any further. Imagine what would happen if I win. I'd be a god that can be controlled by a man with a song. Yeah, that that'd be terrible. That's cool. This cannot be. Let's find him. Let's kill him. Heck yeah, let's do that. Marvelous. Let's go. Hey, I just got a journal entry searching. Uh oh, that didn't close. Holy crap, 55 new journal updates. What? Um, seeking revenge. Uh, I forgot the name of it. Uh, searching for the shadows. Most of all, of ascension, but severe less that we first face her former master. Okay, that didn't help at all. Bill is a prime scion. Sahela urged her to travel to the nameless isle. Oh, we gotta find the mother tree. Was that not the tree we climbed? What's on your mind, darling? Okay. Oh, she called me darling. How lovely. Uh. I want to talk about her recent revelations. Ah, uh, yes. I am the prime scion. A revelation that came quite out of the blue, which is somewhat ironic, considering I'm supposed to be my people's mm -hmm. foremost memory keeper. Quite slipped my mind, though. A slave scar will do that to a girl. Mm. What does it mean to you? To be frank, it exasperates. She looks down, an uncharacteristic cast of melancholy passing over her face. Gods. I was so young. Imagine it, to sit enthroned under a vast forest canopy, to look down upon a crowd of thousands, their bodies aglow with countless rays of golden light falling through the leaves. You hear their voices as one, one mind, one thought, and it's your name they encant, as if the word itself were magic. Sabeel. They said it like I was the cornerstone of their existence. Isn't that silly? I didn't even know myself. Uh, do you know who you are now? Good question. It's a very lonely thing indeed to be the object of a people's worship. What is yeah. revered is feared at the same time. She absent-mindedly fingers her needle, hesitates. I used to love poetry. I used to love wandering the forests for days on end. I'd swim in the rivers and forget to dress after. It was fine. I was alone. I'd bask in the sun, sleep nestled among bear cubs. I want to sleep nestled among bear cubs. But always they would find me, the scions. Always the mother tree would call me back. For one day I'd be free no longer. One day my legs would be roots. To wonder would be but one lone memory among millions. Yeah, that sounds horrifying. You never have been free, have you? Clearly not. Though I must admit that even to sit on that throne amid that eerie crowd, destined to become leaf and bark, was not so dreadful a prospect as what came next. When I decided to run away from the mother tree with only the moon for my guide, it was a terrible journey. Soft-leafed branches became vicious like whips. Moss-bedecked rocks became sharp like the stone axes of old. I grew weary. I was bleeding, in pain, and how I gasped when for the first time an animal eyed me with malice and growled. That is when I heard them, the whispers and the taunts, the low howls of men, the snare cut so deep, the blindfold, it made me panic, the dark. Yeah, it's, you don't need to talk anymore if you don't want to. There's nothing much left to say after all. You know what came after. Then there was the stench of those men. The burn of the ropes, the jeers and the kicks. 
until the dark went silent. Even those barbarians didn't dare speak in the presence of the Master. But I'll not speak of him and his methods. Not now, anyway. If ever. Hmm. How does it work, the scar? And I remember saying I'd probably never tell you. Damn it. Thought she said that. Why not? I oh? suppose some stories were always meant to be told. So, here goes. Oh, cool. She's going to tell us. No, hang on. Damn it. She retrieves a small flask from her backpack, uncorks it, and takes a big swig. Tears stream from her eyes. Oh, no. She offers you the flask. They're tears of joy, I assure you. Here. Have some joy. You drink. It burns. Soon the tears run down your cheeks as well. What is happening? <laughs> Not bad, is it? So good it has us crying like babies. Now then, the epic of the Master... Oh my gosh, she's gonna tell us! Sounds like a melodramatic opera. There was, of course, some singing involved. It began when I woke in the dark room. He removed my blindfold, and still I did not see. He himself was darker than any shadow, but I could hear him. Hear him give orders to another. Stingtail. How he came to regret the actions he performed that day. I remember Stingtail. He was in Fort Joy. The master bid the dream a dream, and so he did. He sat there. I could feel his hands upon my cheeks. He trembled, as if in pain. I didn't know what was going on until, quite suddenly, his right hand became a flame. I screamed as he traced the design of the uh. star into my searing flesh, but I could not move. Oh, that's brutal. And all the while, the master looked on in darkest silence. Is that what doesn't kill us makes us stronger? I'm going to say uh, no idea that the horror came with her scarring. Oh, like all good things in life, one has to experience these things firsthand. So, once the scarring was over and the pain began to fade, the training began. With words, whistles, snaps of the fingers even, the master could make me obey his every command. Young, strong, smart. You know I don't exactly lack in qualities. Didn't take him long to train me in the arts of stealth, subterfuge, and assassination. It shakes me little now, all too little. But that first time, that first real kill? It was such stuff as nightmares are made on. I had now lived in the dark for what might as well have been years. I was in a wood, but the trees there were sick. Grey, leafless hydras sticking out of ash and earth. There were no stars that night she sat shivering beside a fire i was nervous i i had to chase her my hand hated itself tried to resist but there is no resisting the master's song my stabs weren't as mercifully exact as they should have been i had to bring down the needle again oh man and again as her screams flooded the forest with terror. When it was done, I crawled back to the master, broken, crept back into the box, and through its cold black lid, he told me I had done well. Next time, I'd do better. The master and the scar tell her it's an epic that deserves to be unwritten. You understand me completely. With the needle, I'll kill him. And with the needle, I'll strike his name from my skin. The bastard will be master no longer. Mouse died again. Ooh. I don't know why it's doing that lately. It's dying.
I'm gonna ask if she thinks she'd make a good goddess. We're gonna be best. story time here, guys. She cocks her head ever so slightly and eyes you as innocently as a king. <laughs> Why? Don't tell me you disagree. So Beale's magnificent. Oh, damn it. I don't like any of these conversation pieces. This sounds funny, though. Smile and say you most certainly would. Thank Wouldn't you. be able to magnificent. I quite agree, and I'm sure I'll have mercy on you when I'm a goddess. You, but a mortal at my feet. In all seriousness, though, the prospect both tickles and terrifies me. All right, that's a good sign. I mean, divinity. Will it be a blessing or a burden? Would we be truly omnipotent or merely the servants of an unruly universe as desperate for control as we are now? And then there's the question that makes me shiver most of all. Would we still be ourselves? Would I remain Sibyl or would my mortal soul die upon gaining divine immortality? Now all we can do is try and see. Take the plunge and don't look back, huh? As good a plan as any, I presume. She sighs and closes her eyes, then smiles her easy smile. Such a silly game we play, to be a god. It's quite wasted on mortals, if you ask me. We are all of us too blemished to become immaculate. What's our next move be? I think she's just going to tell us to go kill the the answer to that. First, I'll find the master. He has a date with a needle. <laughs> Whatever comes after that, comes after that. Take your leave. All right, it's story time, friends. We're learning about our friends. The academy. This place yeah. was, but I know we I must know all of that. We more time to think about it. Oh, what? So, I haven't changed my mind. Like I said before. Okay. I thought they'd be able to talk to me more. How about I this dude? Lie. It's good to have company again. This island doesn't seem kind to stragglers. Okay, so I can actually drop him at any point. So before that crazy fight, we might just leave him be. How do I get out of here? There it is. Wait a minute. Hey! Where's the rest of my party? Come here, friends. Wait a minute. <gasps> No! Oh my god, this just got a million times harder. I don't have friends to help me with Sibyl's fight. Oh, Are you kidding me, game? When's my last save? I have to load here. I can't not have my party with me. That sucks. Yeah, there's too much to do. I can't not... <laughs> I can't be at half power. I mean, I suppose I could go respec my two and have them be lone wolves, but... That doesn't sound fun. Alright. Cool, we're friends. Um, Let's get out of here. And let's talk to Sabeel. Speak if you wish to. I'm gonna Did go through all these again. Whatever comes after that, my still. So, no. Hang she retrieved tears. The tears of joy. You drink. Yep. Now then, there was, of course, it began sting. The master yep. trembled, yep. screamed yep. all yep. the while. The master uh, looked on in darkest. Yep. So, so young, it shakes. I had now. There were no. My staff. When it was done. The bar, the very best. She cocks. Why? Don't tell me. Thank you. Be all the magnificent. No, I mean, and then there's the question that makes me shiver most of all. Take Try and see. She sighs. Such a silly game we play. Uh, I'm sorry, on. Quite slipped my mind, though. A slave scar will do that to a girl. To be frank, I think that's why I chose. She looks God's. 